Happy Coffee Talk Monday. Dr. Michelle coming at you. Sorry I missed you last week, but I was on a vacation and I did post some videos. So hopefully you got a chance to take a look at those. I know for those of you that don't play tennis, you may not have thought that they were geared towards you, but they were geared towards everyone how to deal with those critical moments in and around performance. So if you didn't get a chance to check those out, go back in and look at those. Today, I wanna to talk about developing resilience. I have had to develop resilience mainly out of survival. My life has been one obstacle after another, abusive household, getting kicked out of my house when I was 16 for being a lesbian, severe anorexia, you know, the list sort of goes on. And so I've had to develop this resilience, this ability to bounce back from things. And for me, it happened kind of unconsciously just because that's what I needed to do. Although I could have gone in a very different direction. I'm not really quite sure how at a young age I was able to be so resilient. But I have to say it's probably one of the best skills I have. And it's a really important one that I work with my clients on. That ability to, you make a mistake, how do you bounce back? Or you lose, how do you bounce back? or something doesn't go your right, what do you do next? How do you move forward? Those can be really challenging moments, particularly right now in our society because we live in a society where everyone wants to be perfect, except there's no such thing. But for so many of us, when we aren't being perfect and things happen, challenges happen, we aren't sure how to bounce back from those challenges, being resilient. The first really critical thing around developing resilience is the ability to be really aware of what is happening. So self-reflection on what is happening, those moments that are really challenging for you. Of course, I talk a lot about mindfulness, but being really critically aware of what is happening. That is the first step because if we're not aware of what is happening, even though something doesn't feel right, doesn't feel like it's working, then you can't really effectively make change in that area. The next step is figuring out how you want to move forward versus just moving forward in this like habitual way or this way that you've always moved forward or in this case, maybe lacked resilience, the inability to maybe deal with some of these really challenging moments. How do you want to move forward? You have to have something that's going to replace what is happening. And again, I kind of go back to, you know, the whole mindfulness thing, because when you're mindful in this moment that this is happening and you know how you want to be able to move forward in a different way, you're able to be aware, oh, this is happening. I don't really want to be in this space or I don't want this happening. I don't want to be hanging on to this mistake. I don't want to be thinking about what other people are thinking about me. Let me focus on this instead. 
So the third piece is just continuing to figure out how you want to bounce back in those moments and do that on a really consistent basis. Mm, not every situation is going to be exactly the same, but it's probably very similar. So I would start off just by taking a time out at some point during your day, middle of the afternoon, two o'clock, three o'clock. That's kind of when things get a little like fuzzy and blurry for me and I start to like get a little tired and sometimes feel like things are happening to me. Take two or three minutes and just check in. How am I feeling? Where's my brain at? Where's my body at? How have I been moving through the day? And then think about how do I want to move through the rest of my day in a slightly different way? What can I do? So that's one way to bounce back from what is happening and be resilient. Another is reflecting at the end of the day. Okay, what happened today? And what do I want to do a little bit differently tomorrow? And then trying to figure out how to do that different thing, right, the next day. So those are a couple of tips to help develop awareness. And what do you, what do you want to replace the lack of resilience with? Resilience. So not getting stuck in something, being able to continue to move forward, being able to refocus from whatever that space is that you don't want to be in to what you need to be doing right here, right now, right? And then how do you do that consistently? Awareness, just recognizing the moments, being able to recognize them more often as they pop up and asking yourself in that moment, where do I want to be? What do I want to be doing right now? Or where should I be focusing my energy? Resilience is possible, but you just have to be aware of what is happening, figure out what you want to have happen, and then try to do that on a more consistent basis. Look, I'm not 100% resilient all the time, but I feel like I'm pretty resilient. And again, that started off many, many years ago where I had to be resilient and I've developed that at an even deeper level and feel like I do a pretty good job of recognizing, Ooh, no, I don't need to be there. I need to be right here. If you need some thoughts, help, support with your resilience, let me know. You can always leave me a message if you have questions. And thanks for joining me on another Monday. Happy Monday, and I will see you next week. Take care.